Battle Alliance so mid month has officially been announced. If you did see our video yesterday, there's a potential chance we get Adam Yiddle, right? That's the hope for today's video. Hopefully, we didn't get baited, but shout out to these two lads for their most recent prediction, right? We got to keep it true. Here we go, right? So, the banner should be Rukia and also Adam Yiddle. Hoping Adam is a good character. We dressed up for the occasion. I swear, if it's not him, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I would have wasted so much time just getting ready for this. We'll see how it is. So I'm expecting a fierce battle banner if it is those two characters. So if we see that, it's a good sign. What are we going to get? We're going to Ichigo Brave Fest. It is a fierce battle banner. Surely the time is right. The time is right. The time is right. Let's go, baby. Uh, the armor doesn't look that good, I'll be honest. But the time is right. We'll take it. <laughs> we'll, take it. we'll take it. Let's go. Triumphant. Because that's what this moment is right now. It's a triumphant moment. Here we go. We'll check out the gameplay in a sec. He's a speed character. Does that mean he's a Guild Quest character? Hopefully he's not Nat. If he's a Nat character, <laughs> let's see it. So, Adam Yoro, first battle version. We'll start off with Rukia. She's a Nauta character. Please tell me Adam Yoro's a Super Link Sword farmer. Let's just scroll down. Quincy, uh. Super Link Sword! Oh my god! Ah, oh, he starts on. We'll take it! Plus, plus 10! Woohoo! I think Addy has havoc. Oh my god, hold on. I hate this one. Roller coaster, roller coaster. I, I, I think I'd rather this, to be honest. I don't know. Here we go. So, Rukia, Midi, no one's that character, right? And in our most recent video, I did say I wanted to be a spider killer. That's exactly what she is. So, this is an easy 10 steps for me because it looks like we're getting a good Adam Yodo and we're also getting a really good Guild Quest character, something that I desperately needed because this week desperately does lack it. So, what is the dumbest numbers we are looking at here? Flurry plus two in Guild Quest. That again does appear to be the norm. She was also given an extra. 20% no attack damage to any sorry bar. That's interesting. Is she a team booster? It doesn't specify. Would have loved if that was the case. It doesn't appear to be so, but that's really good. I think this is the first time we've seen a affiliation team buff. Like, this doesn't matter if you're a technique character, a speed character, a mind or heart character. If you are a sorry bar, you are getting 20% more no attack damage. That's really, really good um, whenever we can also use sorry bars, right? So that's going to be really good in the future if we ever get more sorry bars that you're going to be using in the in the immediate spot of Gilchrist, right? In terms of damage output, though, essentially she has a 50% bruiser with fly plus two, more mini damage, more cure effect. Honestly, overall fairly solid. That's exactly what you wanted to be. The Asparta GQ is definitely need a character like this. And if you are a Rukia fan, you are able to actually use her outside of that particular content as she does have Guard Break and also Long Reach, which is pretty cool. We've also been weirdly enough seeing like defensive skills on these Guild Quest characters. Like she has damage taken, man, is 16% and more damage taken from uh, from a rank enemies, which is kind of cool. Does it make it any better? I don't know. But I mean, if you take it into rank content, she's going to be fairly uh, durable, to say the least, right? And her Sobum itself is actually so Minomai. And then she also does have the 30% normal attack damage soul tray so exactly what i wanted to be in yesterday's video i wanted it to be a normal attack damage character for the media spot of gq and we got exactly that only way this could have been better personally for me is if she was a team booster because that guild quest still definitely lacks that right now your only team booster is actually dordoni now moving on to the main piece of this video i can't believe this is happening uh, so he's not I guess as good as you want him to be to a certain extent because, you know, your links of farmers, you want them to have... You want them to pierce iron skin, right? But I will gladly take this. Quincy killer's okay. It's not the worst killer. Gonna want to prefer to sorry, but, but again, I can't really be too picky here. He is using Neji Banner. It's kind of, you know, right? I can't really complain, but he is a plus five super power links of potion soldier. For those, for those that don't even want Adam Yudo, there's a reason to actually get him right there just for the soldier alone. But if I do decide to use Adam Yudo, I am getting plus ten power super links of potions. So, obviously, I'm going to do that. Why wouldn't I? And in terms of damage output, Frenzy plus one, 60% Berserker. He has the increased chance to inflict last rate. You then do more damage to last rated enemies, and then you also 100% more damage to last rated enemies, to be exact, since you do have the speed attribute of and damage to status afflicted enemies. Uh, I'm okay with it. If he has good strong attacks, honestly, I'll be happy. But honestly, what I'm seeing right here is that it's a pretty good character, right? Unfortunately, you know, Bias Society is going to be compared to Senjimaru and also Tensor. And I doubt Adam Yudo will be able to compete, right? Even with the plus 10 that he can give, at least he can give the plus 10 for a soul trait, so you can make Tensa and also Senjimaru plus 10 links of farmers, super links of farmers to be exact, and you're probably better off doing that, truth be told. But again, I've already links with all my characters, right? I, I just want to have some fun. I'm finally getting a good Adam Yudo, right? I actually was expecting him to be a power links of farmer, but I'm actually very happy that he ended up being a super links of farmer, because I do like farming IT, and now that I get to do that, potentially, with one of my favorite characters. How do I look at the actual filler pool, though? Um... 
Only premium characters. I have everyone here. There's some decent stuff here. Nothing super crazy. I think going into it before we even saw the characters, this is definitely a very easy skip unless you are someone like me and Rukia fans. You know, Adam, you know, Rukia fans, this ban is for us. If you go to step 10, you basically have a 50% chance to get either Adam, you know, or Rukia. One or the other, right? It's guaranteed to be one of them. So for me, I'll definitely end up doing probably 10 steps in this banner because I obviously do want Adam, you know, but at the same time, Rukia is also going to be really good for my account. Both characters seem to be good on my account. For everyone else, though, uh, yeah, I mean, these are some decent characters here. You know, you have some good guild quest support, links to farmers, etc. But, you know, these characters you'll get eventually later on. I think for most people, this is a very easy skip. But for us, Adam, you know, and Rukia fans, it might be a must summon. It might be a must summon. Let's check out the gameplay, though. All right, then, so here we go. Let's check it out. I'm going to close my eyes here because I know they're going to show the spell bombs early and I don't want to see it. All right, so we're starting off with Rukia. So, um, I like the face she's pulling. I do like the model right now, I will say. Now, I don't think we've ever gotten this Rukia with this, you know, coat, but I, I like that the coat's not overbearing, if that kind of makes sense. I'm not too sure. But I do like the artwork, too, with her, you know, like, her angry face. Rightfully so. She's going against Kayan, right? Adam, you know, that's using Kayan's like ability. But yeah, honestly, Rukia is going to be a pretty good Naz character. At the very least, she was given guard break, right? So you could actually use her outside of guild quest. Let's check out the Naz ring, though. Does it look anything special? Not really. Not really, to be fair. SA1. Is that a vortex? I, it looked, to be fair, that SA2 looks like very, very 2015. <laughs> but I mean, this is like a base Rukia. I don't, I'm not expecting anything crazy visuals from her. SA3 looks alright. Honestly, visually, uh, definitely nothing too impressive. She's lacking like the AoE to it, if that kind of makes sense. Very small AoE attacks, which in a way makes her look less, less special. And yeah, she's a 30% Nad Soul Trait, so she's going to be a good link for that. They have 63,000 orbs, damn. So yeah, truth be told, I'm not really super impressed with Rukia's visuals. I mean, this is like a Rukia that I didn't care much about. But that is a Vortex SA2. I like the idea of turning that into a Vortex. That's kind of cool. Uh, but again, the main reason why I would want this Rukia is just for her Guild Quest potential. To make my Guild Quest seem better. Can the Soul Bomb be good, though? Let's find out. Okay. I actually recently watched the episode. Voice actors like almost one to one. I'm not sure if they redid that. So yeah, uh, Soul Bomb's all right. Would have obviously liked if they actually did the you know attack that kills Adam Yellow, but I can see why they didn't. I was expecting this at the Soul Bomb. It's all right. Nothing too crazy. Looks okay, but that's fine. We're saving the best for Adam Yellow. Surely, right? Surely, I would have preferred if the I, I, I like the uh, oh look his model. Ah uh, yeah, let's go. His model looks good. It model is good, I can't believe it. We well, you know Rukia is just there to hype up Adin Yoda, right? Surely, surely. Would have preferred to, to be fair, if Adin Yoda had Frenzy Plus 2. Because he's going to have to have good strong attacks here. So SA1 is a AoE in front. SA2 is a lunge forward. And SA3 is like a full screen in front of him. I like the visuals. Not and again super crazy, but I do like the idea. Ah, oh, they just know he's a link for Senjimaru. Ah, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll, I mean, I'll take it. I'm not, I'm, again, I'm not picky. Oh, that SA2 looks good from that direction, actually. Very fast attacks. I think strong attack-wise, he actually looks relatively solid. He'll make for a decent Link of Farmer. Uh, in other attribute, this would be, like, pretty good, to say the least. But obviously, in the speed attribute, it's the most stacked attribute out there. So, he has super tough competition. And realistically... Oh, the naturally looks nice, though. I like it, but realistically, he's a link for Senjimaru, right? Oh, the naturally looks really cool, actually. I'm liking it. I think they messed up that. I think that's supposed to be described that SA2. The SA1's an AoE in front of him. Yeah, that SA2 looks really cool. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm actually really, really to be happy with this character right now. I'm not, not going to lie. Again, I was expecting a power link to farm mode, but I don't mind using him in IT to farm super links or potions. I still need to farm power potions still, so we'll take it. So I don't think we're going to see Glutonaria since it's all about Nejibana. So I'm kind of curious what the summon's going to be. Nice. Nice. Okay. And he does, does he do the pose? He does. Let's go. That's a sick thumbnail. <laughs> I would have I would have thought that would have been the art, truth be told. I, I really would have thought that would have been the art. I like the Sobom, though. Uh, Sobom is pretty much both one tone with the anime. They don't look anything super special, I will be honest. But, I mean, that's just, that's just the scene they were adapting, right? All right. So, there we go. <laughs> there we go. 
After five plus years, we finally got another island, you know. Am I happy with the outcome? I'd say so. I'd say so. Again, for most people, this is a very, very easy skip. But uh, both characters know exactly what they want to be, right? They do offer the value, right? Ruka is a immediate Asparta GQ character. Right now, the competition for that week is very lacking. So she's easily a must-have for Guild Quest peeps, right? Not Remember, this is a premium banner, right? So these aren't characters you get now. It's more so characters you get later on. And over, it's good value characters to get from summon tickets, right? Like, no one would be disappointed to get Rukia because she's going to be good in GQ. If you struggle with the media spot of GQ, which I assume most do, because I can I can clear it, but, like, my team isn't really the greatest. It's definitely one of the more difficult Guild Quest weeks, even for me, even though I can beat it. But she'll easily make that GQ a lot easier. And then, Alan, you know, I mean, even if you don't even want to use the character, at the very least, you're getting plus five Super Link to Potion Soul Trade. So, nice to see more of those on premium characters, I will be honest. Really nice to see that more on premium characters. It's always good to get good valued premium characters here. And in this case, Alan Yu is another one of that. A really good link. So, if you don't want to use the character, you can make Senjumaru and also Tensei and get to better. What I've wanted more from Alan Yu, though, I don't know. I don't know. Because, again, I was expecting my power link. So, from above, I'm relatively happy with this. The only thing I don't like is the Quincy killer. Like, again, they always have to give these, like, mid month super links from us weird killers i would have but much preferred if he got sorry purchased the match of the other two adding yiddos but i'm happy with the character's visuals at the very least i will definitely be using the character and i'm happy that he was at least given havoc right so could have been a lot worse frenzy plus one increased chance to fix that as i meant he has the built-in recharge he does 100 more damage slashing than enemies he has the guard break the havoc it's serviceable it's serviceable and again the fillers okay for most people it's a skip right but for me We'll definitely be doing a few summons on this banner. At least go to step 10. At the very least to go to step 10. Where I'm guaranteed adding Yodo or Rukia. And at that point, I'm probably going to wait and see what end of month is. Lucky for me, I do have 7,000 orbs. So I can afford to go to step 10. And also have enough orbs to potentially go step 25. On the end of month banner. Assuming it's someone that I actually want. But anyway, lads, with that said, that was the video for today. I'm relatively happy. I can't really complain all too much, right? Again, I uh, can't be too picky with my adding Yodo characters. Happy to finally be able to make a team of free adding Yodos. Which is actually pretty cool. Let me know what you have to these characters in the console. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. I'm base.